Okay, this tutorial here is going to take us through section 4.6, the half angle identities. And what we're going to worry about mainly in this section is again finding exact values uh, in terms of calculating them. And also in terms of using the half angle identities, we're going to have to find exact values as well, sometimes using special angle relationships. Those are the main two types of questions. Also, if you look in the book, they'll do, they do have some proofs and some other types of questions, but mainly on my exams I'll be focusing on uh, calculating exact values. So that's what we're going to go through here. So starting with the half angle identity formulas, there are five half angle identity formulas uh, that relate the half angle to its full angle. One for sine half theta, and that's the root of one minus cos theta over two, all under the root sign. Notice there's a plus or minus there and we'll talk about that as we go. Cos half theta is going to equal plus or minus the root of 1 plus cos theta over 2 and tangent half theta has plus or minus the root of 1 minus cos theta over 1 plus cos theta which also equals sine theta over 1 plus cos theta or 1 minus cos theta over sine theta. There's 3 for tangent now what we're going to do here then is talk about the signs. Uh, for these root examples, you have to choose whether or not your sine value, your cos value, or your tan value would be positive or negative based on which quadrant it's going to end up in in the end. So let's just do a quick little uh, thought process here. So let's say that we had originally theta was in Uh, between, let's say, um, 360 degrees to um, 450 degrees. Okay, so, and we were, that would put one, half theta would then be in half of each of these. So half of 360 is 180 and half of 450 is 225. So this would be, for the half angle, this would put it in the third quadrant. Even though you started here in the fifth quadrant, like if you were, you've rolled around once and you're still in the first quadrant, this would have been in the first. So everything here would have been positive. Okay, so you've gone around to 360, and then you went, you were still in the first quadrant here when you went around once. But here, you would be dealing with half of that, you'd be in the third quadrant, and not the full part of the third quadrant. So just keep that in mind when you're deciding signs. So let's take a look at our first example then. And that's just a quick using exact values and special triangles. Uh, what is the exact value of cos 15 using the half angle identity? Let's move that down a little bit. Okay, so what is that? Well, we have to know, first of all, and we have to think. Well, we can use the half angle identity for, for cosine. So if we're thinking back to our half angles, cosine of uh, 15 degrees is what we're trying to find. Okay, So, well what's double of 15? If we want to find cosine of that, so if we use the half angle identity, that's going to be the same thing as saying plus or minus, well since 15 is in the first quadrant, it's going to be plus. It's going to be 1 minus, but instead of the half angles here, this is half of it. So if this is 15 over 2 and we want to change it into theta over here, we have to multiply it by 2. So it's going to be 1 minus cos 30 degrees over 2. So we have to go back into our, our, our knowledge level of uh, 
finding what cos 30 is. We look back, cos 30 degrees is three, uh, root 3 over 2. So we put that in. So this is all under the root sign. Okay, let's check the field of view here. Let's move that up a bit. So we have to simplify here this whole expression here uh, that we have. So that would be like multiplying by a half up here. So that's the full root multiplying both by a half. So 1 times a half is a half. Root 3 over 2. Okay, root 3 over 2 times a half. So that would be root 3 over 4. Okay, so thinking about this, this would be the same thing as saying if we change that into 4, that would be 2 minus root 3 over 4. All under the root sign. Okay, simplifying it any further could be quite difficult in the sense that I suppose we could take, we could say it's the root of 2 minus the root of root 3 over 2, but I don't know how you could call that simpler. So this is as far as we'll go for that exact value, and it's positive. Okay. In our next example, we're going to look and I think we'll leave it for the next tutorial. We're going to look specifically at uh, finding uh, half angle identities again using given a fraction or a, another exact value. So that's what we'll do in our next tutorial.